ಮನೋರೂಪೇಕ್ಷಿಕೋದಂಡ ಪಂಚ ತನ್ಮಾತ್ರ ಸಾಯಕ ಹರ್ ಆಯುಧಸ್ ದ ವೆಪನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ವಿ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ನ್ಯೂ ಅಬೌಟ್ ರಾಗಸ್ವರೂಪ ಪಾಶಾಧ್ಯ ಪಾಶಂ ಕ್ರೋಧಾಕಾರ ಅಂಕುಸೋಜ್ವಲ ಅಂಕುಶಂ ನೌ ವಿ ಕಮ್ ಟು ದ ಬಾಣಂ ಪುಷ್ಪಬಾಣಂ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಧನು ಇಕ್ಷಿಕೋದಂಡ ಮನ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಇಕ್ಷು ಶುಗರ್ ಕೇನ್ ಕೋದಂಡ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ವೆಪನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಡ್ರೆಡ್ಫುಲ್ ಟು ದ ಎನಿಮೀಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ರಿಯಲ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಹೈಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಯುಧ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಬೋತ್ ಅರ್ ಅ ಲೈಕ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಎಪಿಟೈಟ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷುವಲ್ ಡಿಸೈರ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಇನ್ ಬೋತ್ ದೀಸ್ ದ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಡಿಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಇಂಟೆಲೆಕ್ಚುವಲ್ ಎಬಿಲಿಟಿ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ದ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಕೆಪಾಸಿಟಿ is there for the human being and that capacity is given to us to analyze and find out what we are in reality and not getting carried away by the emotional turbulence or the worldly matters and finally uh, merge with the cosmos victorious but unfortunately the same mind is being used for manovyapara dealing externally with the world that's where the trouble comes so what she says is if you can control your mind hold the mind then the same mind will become kodanda shatru bhayankara that means it will be dreadful to the enemies and the mind oscillates from one point to another like a monkey it is not stable even in spirituality we oscillate between mantras so we need to stabilize the mind for stabilizing the mind you need to meditate on the vidhanu ikshikodanda of mother and manmadha's ayudha is also ikshikodanda that is sugar cane so what he does is using sugar cane as the bow and the row of bees as spring and the banas dramdreen clean bloom saha that is pushpavana shabda sparsha rupa rasagandha the tanmatras as the banas he agitates the mind of the jiva so that the jiva is constantly doing some action or other under the influence of this bana so what are the banas dram dream clean bloom saha at the end of the pralayam there are two types of pralayam one is nirvishesha pralayam sashesha pralayam nirvishesha pralayam even brahma vishnu maheshwara will not be there but sashe sashesha pralayam the jivas will be there and the brahma will be in the parabrahma swarupam bindu swarupam and all the jivas who have some balance of karma they have to take birth and this karma has to be transferred so for that he started creating the world again first the creation is tanmatra shabda sparsha roopa rasaganda from shabda kai sparsha air roopa fire rasa water and gandha the earth all the five natural elements have been formed and then all these in uh, union with the gunatraya sattva rajas tamogana and then the whole srishti started so the tanmatras are absolutely necessary for continuation of this srishti a continuation of this karmic life in the human being and these are of three types the banas stula what you see in her hand as flowers you know pushpamaya what are the flowers red lotus red lily white lily black lily and mango of course that's the technical information but the mantramaya is more important dram dream clean bloom sah dram sarva sankshobhini dream sarva vidravani clean sarva akshini bloom sarva vashankari sah sarvon mari so when you meditate on this banas when you meditate on the ikshikodanda the bow what you get is the control of mind chanchala hi manas satvam the oscillation of mind will be put to rest then when you can meditate on the banas actually the bana is intended to agitate your mind 
he wants to you to distinguish between different shabdas and allies and do so many vyaparas. That's why we distinguish Om Namah Shivaya from a different song. We consider Om Namah Shivaya alone is the mantra and not all other mantras. Even though she told very clearly, Nan Shrojvara Akshamala Adhidhara Rudra Samsitaha Atuksha Akshamala Whatever letter you speak, that is a mantra. That is a reality. But then her mohanam, that captivating power of the first Bana Dram is so powerful that you start distinguishing between the Shabdas. That is why when you meditate on the first um, Bana, it is Dram. Dram, Dram, Dravana Bana, yeah. Aim, Dream, Dream, Dram. Sarva Sanksho Bhinye Namaha Pahimam Rakshamam. When you meditate on that, you say, Oh Mother, I know you are going to put that bana on me to put me back into the worldly matter. But can you please give me the knowledge to understand, to experience you? In each and every sound I listen, then I can correlate with the Anahata Shabda. The Anahata Shabda is a summation of all sound in essence. So, that is a root sound. Prime, uh, what you call primordial sound or something like that. Mula Nadam is Anahatam. The same Nadam when it comes outside, it is distinguished as a barking of a dog or Om Namah Shivaya crying of a child and you are you know, carried away by the differences. So, can you please give me the strength to experience you? In a very sound I listen. Dream, dream, Sarva Sandeepana Banaya, Pahimam Rakshamam, Sarva Sankshobini, Sarva Vidravani. The next one is Sarva Vidravani. Dream is Sparsha. Always she is touching you. But we want a physical touch. That is where we differentiate between the touches. Like when I am sitting on a couch, this touch of the couch is different from the touch of the table. That's how I differentiate. But in fact, both are her form. Charatharavastu prapancha. Moving and non-moving. Everything is hers. So can you please give me this knowledge of experiencing you in every touch? Then, even if I touch that pillow, I feel that I am touching your feet. I am touching you. Every touch. Then, clean, clean. Sarva Sammohanabhanaya. Clean means Rupam. Akarshana. Sarva Akarshini. Rupam, naturally, we distinguish between insect, animal, and human beings, male, female, good, bad, ugly, beautiful, so many what not. But in fact, she is in every form. So, by meditating on this clean bija, can you please, we are asking, can you please give me the strength to experience you in every form I see. That is very difficult. Even if you see a killer, a decoit, she is still there. And that strength, please give me. Bloom, bloom, sarva santapana banaya. Pahimam Rakshamam Sarva Vashinkari Rasa Everybody wants to be happy. Ananda. In pursuit of happiness, I think there is a movie also, Pursuit of Happiness. Can you give me the strength to enjoy the abstract essence of uh, Ananda Rasa in, in each and every action I do, in each and every thought I have, in each and every person I meet, in each and every place, everywhere, Ananda Rasa. Raso Vaisaha. Sa Rasavati. It is Saraswati. Let me have the real understanding that only the happiness is the real knowledge. All the knowledge is focused of, on how to be happy without any dependencies. Our happiness is dependent on our success. Dependent on our people relationship. Dependent on so many other factors. Progress in spirituality. But can I have the happiness? Can I have the Anandarasa 
a continuous everlasting bliss which is not dependent which is self dependent satya chitta ananda swatmananda vibhuta brahmadyananda santatihi can i enjoy myself swatmarati can i enjoy myself can i be in union with me because there is nothing else other than me when i have that knowledge i enjoy myself i enjoy my presence my presence itself is a joy and that kind of ananda rasa can you please give me bloom bloom saha saha sarva vashikarna banaya sarvon madvi saha association gandha shabda sparsha rupa rasa then the final is gandha gandha is association i have two types of association the external association the internal association external associations with human beings animals all these other external things internal is with my thoughts but can you please give me the strength to enjoy every association i have without any distinction i distinguish between good and bad i feel oh i should not get the thought well thought itself you is you your form is in thought so when you are i don't care what it is that thought as long as i am seeing you in my thought seeing you as an association internal association in the form of thought in me external association in the form of friends relatives and people around me then i will still have the same enjoyment i don't have any differential analysis judgment the analysis should be there the analysis is intended for internal analysis unfortunately it is external analysis we are doing that's where uh, we are going in a wrong direction so can i have the strength of enjoying every association the thought should be read at the root level mola prakriti abhyakta vyakta vartha swarupi mola prakriti when the thought is actually uh created from the brain at the top of the head but when it comes to heart you enjoy or after analysis it comes that's where you get pain or pleasure and that is at the heart level at 10 inches from the uh, navel atyatishta dashangulam that's where your all the you know processing is done many people will think the processing is done in the brain but even though it is technically correct but the actual experience happens at heart level so can you give me the strength to enjoy every association i have so this dram dream clean bloom saha are the sarva sankshobhini sarvidravani sarvakshni sarvashankari sarvon madri these are the banas and the same thing is in the shodashi mahashodashi mantra also Hrim, hrim, clean, aim, saw. These are the pranavas. These five pranavas are also five banas. So externally, the same banas, the same arrows, which are intended to turn you towards materialistic uh, life and get yourself involved in all mundane activities, the same banas will be converted into the pranavas by her if you meditate on the bana and. do this mantra japam dram dream clean bloom sa and there actually there is a mantra om namo bhagavate kama devaya dram dram dravana banaya dream dream sandeepana banaya clean clean sammohana banaya bloom bloom santapana banaya sah sah vasikarana banaya dream dream madana veshaya veshaya sakala janarittam dravaya dravaya kampita kampita kumpat swaha here the jana is not external my own thought let me have the so you are worshiping the madana kamadeva ishwara the one who creates the desire in me to give me the strength to control my senses sarva jana sakala janatit 